Welcome to lesson 3, part 1. In this lesson, we're going to actually create a small and simple game using the skills that we learned in lessons 1 and 2. This game will be a dodgem game, so we'll have to avoid the characters on the world. If we touch them, we will die. In this video, we will have a look at setting up the world and programming the characters to begin with. Let's begin. So, we have a pre-built world here, which I've spent a bit of time doing so you didn't have to watch it during the video. Just very quickly then, I'm going to add a character to this, and what we're going to do is just have a little walk up the world so you can see what it looks like. So, using all the skills in the previous uh, video, I'm going to start off by adding a Kodu, and I'm going to program him by adding a keyboard and the WASD keys for control, and I'm going to make it move. Now, let's have a look at the game well. If you click play and zoom in, you can see that I've got the game world set up. And I'm going to go into first person by keeping rolling the mouse forward, and this is what it looks like. So, the idea behind this game is that as you're Kodu, you're going to make your way along here, and crisscrossing the screen will be lots of enemies. The idea is you're going to use timing to sort of bypass the enemies and then when you touch the tower at the end there you'll win the level and go on to the next one. Okay, let's get started. So, first of all, you'll have noticed my Kodu was quite sm slow. To begin with then, I'm going to actually click on the Kodu tool, I'm going to right click on the Kodu and I'm going to go to Program. I'm going to add to move quickly and I'm going to add another quickly as well, just to make him a little bit quicker. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the path tool and I'm going to create a series of paths crisscrossing the screen. So the first one I'm going to just do a cross like that and I'm going to set it to black. I'm going to press escape, I'm going to set a second path so a bit further along, I'm going to click another one, I'm going to set it on there, I'm going to set that one to grey and I'm going to keep doing that now until I get to the end of the screen. And I might even try and do something fancy by having paths which crisscross like this and go around and go back and go back to the beginning to sort of create a bit of a crisscross type path. And I'll set that to white and then I'll take another one and I'm just going to go down and back and up and down and back. I'm going to set that one to red. Finally, I'm going to add one more path across my level. And I'm just going to keep this one on red for the time being, just to show you that you can actually change, keep the same colour each time, as long as they're not joined. At this point, I need to get my characters up. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just take one character and I'm going to program many times. Okay, So... Let's move down here to the back, let's get our object tool, and let's here plant an object. So for me, I'm going to use a cycle, and on this cycle, I'm going to right click on it and program it. Now if you remember last time, when we looked at programming someone to follow a path, we said when, and we use the always command, and we say do, and we say move, and we select on path. And at this point, we select the colour, so the first one is going to be on the black path. And that's my first guy programmed. Okay. Now all I'm going to do at this point in time is I'm going to copy this guy and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste him onto the world. I'm then going to change his programming so that instead of following the black path, this time he follows the grey path. So there we go. And then I'm just going to keep repeating this time and time again. So I'm going to right click and paste the cycle there. This time it needs to be on the white path. So I'm going to program it and change him to the white path. And then this one, I'll right click and I'll paste him. And I'm going to set him onto the red path. Missed it that time. And then finally, 
I'm going to right click and paste the cycle one more time and I'm going to right click and put him onto the red path as well and hopefully he should follow the path which is in front of him. So with that in mind let's try this out. So we play, I'm going to zoom right into the eye of the person and we're now going to see if we can get down to the end of the level without being killed. So we're past the first guy, past the second, third guy, and we keep on going down until we get to the end. Of course, there is a problem. Notice that I can actually bump these guys, like that, and I don't die. And I can also bump the tower, and still I don't go on to the next level. So we have to program these things, and we'll do this in the next video tutorial. So please join me there.